Hello, I'm Simon. Welcome to Simon's Cat Logic. We'll be finding out from a cat expert why cats behave the way they do. Today, we're talking about water. Well, one of the things that cats love the most about bathrooms, of course, is the sink. It's a lovely, smooth area, a little, like a little box you can slip into. And my cats are always curled up in my sink and fast asleep. Also, another thing they do is they lick from the tap when they're thirsty. Even though there's a, a water bowl down below, they will always go for the little dripping, running water. And all these little elements gave me the idea of the cat playing with the tap and then turning off the, the cold water in the shower, which led to poor old Simon getting burnt. <laughs> well, all of the houses I've lived in, I've always had bad plumbing, I suppose. Cats are often fascinated with running water. In the home environment, some cats prefer a running tap, for example, or maybe a drinking fountain. This makes sense from an African wildcat perspective, where they will naturally drink from fresh running streams rather than a stagnant pool. Many cats will actually drink from ponds or puddles outside, but there are things we can do to encourage cats to drink in the home environment. So looking at the type of bowl that they drink from, um, cats generally prefer ceramic or metal bowls compared to plastic <laughs> bowls which can sometimes taint the water so it tastes different to them. Cats also prefer a bowl that's wide and shallow, so their whiskers aren't touching the sides. If you have a diabetic cat, which can be quite common in older cats, they actually have sore or sensitive whiskers, and this is more important for them to have these wide, shallow bowls so their whiskers don't touch the sides. Many people feed their cat next to the cat's water bowl, and even using those two-in-one bowls. However, cats would much prefer to have their food bowl away from their water bowl. This goes back to African wild cat behavior, where cats would naturally eat away from their water source to avoid contaminating it with the gut contents of their prey. Whilst the cat is drinking and having its head down, this is quite a vulnerable position for a cat. So try placing the water bowl at least 30 centimeters away from the wall so the cat has the choice to have the wall behind them and they can see the surroundings in front of them. Unlike most cats, Turkish vans actually have a water resistant coat and enjoy being in water and it's actually an important need of this cat to be given swimming facilities. April showers, that comes from Teddy. I got him as a tiny rescue kitten and he had long, long fur. And I've never had a, a long haired cat before. One of my memories of uh, Teddy was, was it was raining outside. All the other cats had come in because they're sensible, but Teddy, having this long fur, was sitting on the fence and it was raining and he was just sitting there completely happy, oblivious to the rain. So that's why the kitten loves water in the films because um, Teddy, who's a, who is the influence of the kitten, loves the rain and loves water.
Mm-hmm. Huh?